Dearly beloved, loving greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ loves your Lord, so he is going to perform a miracle for you. Don't you need a miracle for your problems to change? You need a miracle for whatever you are worried about to change. Jesus will perform a miracle today. All you need to do is just believe it. Before that, we must pay attention to what the Lord God says. In 2 Chronicles chapter 15 and verse 2, the word of the Lord says, The Lord is with you while you are with him. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Firstly, the Lord says, My son, my daughter, if you are with me, I will be with you. So only if you are with the Lord God, the Lord will be with you. Not only that, if you forsake him, even the Lord will forsake you. Some will be very devoted on Sundays. They will wake up in the morning and go to church carrying the Bible. If they stay in the worship service for one or two hours, that's all, the work is done. After that, they will put the Bible in a corner. Only the next Sunday, they will take the Bible in their hands and seek the Lord. On the other days, they will go to work and come home, take care of the family matters on their own. There are many people, even Christians, who live without the thought of the Lord God. Then if you are with the Lord on one day, for just a few hours, the Lord will be with you only for that time. If you leave him on Mondays and Tuesdays, even he will leave you. That is what the scripture says. Then, firstly, you should commit yourself to be with the Lord God. The Lord wants to be with you always. I will never leave you, not forsake you. But only if you are with the Lord, he can be with you. If you are not with him, if you live as you please, if you drink and roam around with bad friends, if you do the things that don't please the Lord God, if you are like this, but say, the Lord will be with me, I believe it, then your hope will disappoint you. The Lord cannot be with you because he is a holy God. For him to be with you, you should commit to being with him. That is why when you wake up in the morning, you should meditate on the scriptures and seek him in prayer by saying, Lord, you should be with me. I will be with you always. I will live a life that pleases you. If you come it like so and start living, the Lord will be with you. Throughout that day, did you pray today? Did you meditate on the scriptures today? Did you speak with the Lord? Did you say, Lord, I commit to being with you always? Did you pray to the Lord and ask him to be with you always? Without doing any of these things, how can you simply say that the Lord will be with you? Wrong beliefs will end up in discouragement. So only if you are with the Lord, the Lord can be with you. If you leave him, even he will leave you. One time, my friend ran a good business. The Lord had blessed him and set him in a high position. His business prospered. He had a house, wealth and everything else. A friend who was like this, he loves the Lord and supports ministries. One day when he came to see me, I asked him, how are you? He said, everything is gone, brother. I asked him, what are you saying? Yes, my car and business are gone. I have lost everything. I don't have anything. I am standing with nothing. I said, how can it be? The Lord had blessed you so much. As long as I was with the Lord, I was blessed. When the business multiplied, the time for church decreased. The time spent in prayer decreased. Earlier, I used to pray for hours. Little by little, prayer decreased and stopped. I stopped reading the scriptures. I will go to church on Sundays and then run to take care of my business. After that, I didn't have time to go to church either. The time I gave to God reduced steadily and eventually became non-existent. Without my knowledge, I strayed away from the Lord God. I am realizing it now only. So all my blessings left one by one. After I lost everything, I am realizing that I strayed away from the Lord. I am not with the Lord. That is why all my blessings are gone. But I have committed to the Lord once again. I am happy. Isn't this what's important? What if money and wealth are gone? Jesus is with me. That is enough. This is the truth. As long as you are with the Lord in your life, surely the Lord will be with you. He will bless what you do. If you are not with the Lord, if you leave him, you might stand to lose your blessings. Some will have worldly blessings. They will have wealth, their car and everything else. They will not have peace. They will not be able to sleep peacefully. That is the biggest sign that you have lost the Lord. 
when you say that you don't have peace and are unable to sleep, you have lost Jesus. You might have money and your house. What is the use? Regardless of what you lose, don't lose Jesus. Desire to have him with you always. Give time for it and commit to being with him. The Lord is waiting for you again. Come to yourself again. Then the Lord will perform a miracle for you. He will give back what you lost. He will rebuild you. You need a miracle today. Only Jesus can perform that miracle. Seek him, cling to him. Jesus will definitely perform a miracle today. Lord, I should be with you always. I should never leave you. Give me a life that I live with you always. Give me a life in which I never leave you. Forgive me for the sin of leaving you. I commit to living with you once again in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.